What's up everyone, this is a real quick video explaining how to basically rebuild a brake switch from a T4 transporter. So, they're a little bit annoying to get out. I basically undo the clip, sorry, undo the plug at the back and then rotate anti-clockwise to get it out. Once you get it out, you can use these tabs here. You basically pry them out. I found a pick worked really well. There's two on each side. Once you get rid of those, the whole assembly will look will pop open. Inside, there's kind of, yeah, three components outside of the two housings. Big spring to watch out for. Don't lose that. So basically, there are two states this component can be in. That is determined by where this location of this inner part is here. Basically, when you install the part into the metal housing, this pin rotates, and then that changes the state, which it is. There's two of these tabs on either side. Basically, whenever this rotates into the fixed position, that locks the internal adjustable pin. Now this pin is adjustable with these little teeth. These little teeth lock into this guy. And then this main carriage is what slides back and forth with the pin on the end. Get that in there, this way. See the teeth in there? That's what gives the adjustability. It's the teeth on the side. And then, so that's what gives the adjustability of the total distance. And this whole carriage sliding brings these two terminals over these two terminal blocks. And that's what gives you the actual switch, switching action. So to reassemble this, you put this in to this guy at the full extent. This one here, you need to make sure is in the correct location. I believe, well, 50% chance, but I'm pretty sure it has to be lined up like this. That's its kind of storage state. From then, there are some keys here, three keys. One is slightly wider than the other ones. That larger key has to line up with a larger receiver down in there, see that? I put a little bit of um, dielectric grease on, and before you assemble it, hit it with some contact cleaner. So the large slot that gets clocked to the correct location just slides in there, so there you go drop and flush there. Now you want to make sure that that's at its full extent from there. Reinstall the spring and then make sure that these guys are lined up where they should be. Drop the housings together. Make sure that spring goes into that central pin and then click. Okay so now it's in the storage state. So when you do this that's pushing the spring but that's not actually cycling the switch. If you check the continuity with it now, you won't get any change. The way the switching mechanism actually starts to happen is when it's in the installed state. That's when this internal carrier is switched to the left. Right, left. So that's basically simulating it being installed where this pin is out of phase with this pin. This pin is then would then be biting onto the metal bracket in the brake, you know, in the brake assembly. So, see, you gotta make sure both are fully across.